Hey everyone, Dr. Josh Jagoda. Welcome back to episode 50 and today we're going to get into the assessment of dorsiflexion of the ankles. So this is really important in those patients who are recovering from some, some sort of leg or cast rock or calf injury as well as those patients who are recovering from an ankle sprain or some sort of ankle or foot injury. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put our body towards the wall. And what we're going to do is we're going to firmly plant uh, our foot into the ground, okay? When you do this, you do not want to have your ankle come up or your foot come up. And you do want to be barefoot or in socks with this position. But for demonstration purposes, we will only be in this position here. So what you'll do is you'll get your foot firmly down on the ground and you're going to get your knee to touch the wall. Sounds pretty easy. And as you get an understanding, you're going to start going further and further and further and further. So this is a point where I'm too far away from the wall. And as you can see, the back of my heel is lifting up. You do not want that. You want, so that means I'm too far. You want to be able to keep the heel on the ground. And this is probably as far as I can go without my heel popping up. And so what you'll do is you'll measure from the wall to the front of the toe and see where you are in terms of uh, inches, millimeters, centimeters, and see how far away from the wall you are. And then you can repeat on the right. So you'll have a baseline of left and right. Over time, what you should be able to do is notice with a stretching or strengthening program, you should impr have improvements, meaning that the distance from here might, let's just say, be um, four inches, but now you're at four and a half inches. And so that would be improvement in dorsiflexion with regard to the ankle. And so that you can do, you can do this as well in this position, but just make sure that when you are doing it or testing, you are consistent between standing or sitting. Personally, I like to do standing because it gets other muscles involved, but this is a great way to assess uh, objective improvements or objective signs uh, with regard to ankle dorsiflexion. So give this a try, measure it out, get yourself a baseline so that if you do ever have an injury, you know what you're lacking. So this will give you some insight on that. So I will see you guys next time for episode 51. Thanks for stopping by. Can I just have one more moon dance with you, my love?